Hey guys, welcome to lesson 115. So this is the second to last lesson that we'll do for the year. Um, so exciting. It's on page 602 of your book. And today we're learning how to take percents that are actually mixed numbers and change them into fractions. Um, so it looks a little different than what you're used to, um, but it is something that you're gonna need to know for seventh grade, um, but it's not too bad. So step one, um, well, before I go into the steps, this is what I'm talking about, that a mixed number percent, okay? So it does look a little different from the typical percent. Um, so the first thing you're gonna do is change the mixed number percent into an improper fraction percent. So if you remember, remember we have to do the 33 times the denominator and then plus the one, okay? And that's what is going to give us the 100 over three, because 33 times three is 99, plus one is 100, and then your denominator stays the same. So that's how I got 100 third percent, which definitely looks weird. Step two, um, is say multiply the improper fraction percent by one over 100. Okay, it's always going to be one over 100 that you multiply it by. That fraction is never going to change. So I have 100 third percent times one over 100. So 100 times one gives me 100. Three times 100 gives me 300. Then the last step is to just reduce that fraction. So if I have 100 over 300, there are obviously some zeros that I can cross out. So then I'm left with one third as my answer. So 33 one third percent equals one third. So let's do two more examples together. So I have 14 and two sevenths, and this is actually a homework question. Um, so, first thing I'm going to do is change that into an improper fraction. So, 7 times 14 plus 2 gives me 100 over 7. So, that's your percent, of course. And then you are going to take that. and multiply it by one over 100. So then I get, of course, 100 over 700. And then the last step is to reduce it. So I have a bunch of zeros that I can cross out. These two can cancel out, these two can cancel out, so that I'm left with 1 seventh as my answer. Okay, the next question, I have 16 and two thirds percent. So my first step is going to be to change that into an improper fraction. So 16 times three plus two gives me 50 over three. And then I'm gonna take that 50 over three and multiply it by one over 100. So then when I do that, 50 times one of course is 50. Three times 100 is 300. I have some zeros that I can cross out. These two can cancel out. So then I'm left with 5 30th, but then that can reduce more. Um, I can use five as my GCF, or my greatest common factor. So five divided by five is one, and then 30 divided by five is six. So that's what it reduces down to, is one six. And that is my answer. So hopefully this will come easy to you. Just let me know if you have any questions or concerns. Have a great day.